of the water gets cold with no sun, they go back underneath the grass and leaves, up underneath the water, up underneath the slush and mud, to somehow try to stay warm. Not really going to get warm as long as they don't freeze. So that's why you ain't got no gators going to Arkansas. And if you got any questions or comments, try to ride or let me know. Something bothers you about the swamp all your life, that's going to be your chance right here. And every trip you do is different. Now you ride, you go look. Right now we maybe see white tail deer, uh, the raccoons all over. Yeah, let me sell. I got about 20 in the freezer right now. When I get about 40 or 50, I go catch them in every Wednesday. And it does go to this one, I mean that. And I did eat this one, you heard me right. The nutrients of South America, they're like a beaver. They eat the same thing as a beaver and a muskrat and a rabbit and a squirrel. See, I could trick you. I could have tricked y'all and told y'all it was a beaver. Go, oh, it's a beaver, y'all, beaver, beaver. See, beavers belong here, and beavers, them, they made for life. A male, female beaver made for life once a year. A beaver only got four or five babies to the litter. But see, the nutrient that made with whoever comes along, whoever happens to be around, a nutrient mates four times a year with eight, ten to a litter. And that don't belong in the country. They dug these big holes underneath the road, the interstate right there, by the thousands of them. In 2009, the number of nutrient here was over five million. Since 2009, we've killed that five million. Now we're down to about a half a million. The state still got about five million dollars in the budget to shoot the rest of them. So it's a bounty hunt. Just like the big snakes don't belong in Florida, the big tree for Nutrimat don't belong in Louisiana. At least a program we got, we go shoot that and hunt that, and you get money for the tail as a body count. Mm -hmm. So it's a bounty hunt, a body count, and count the tails. When you sell the tails, they got a map, they're gonna highlight, oh, I got five from here, I got 10 from here, I got 20 from back of my house. And so we hunt them down, so the Nutra, uh, they got the orange teeth just like a beaver. See, that's the Nutra rat head. This here's the beaver's head. I ate him too. All they do is just eat grass and leave. You tell people, eat them, eat it's an aquatic rodent. A beaver, rabbit, squirrel, and nutria all eat the same thing. I can debone all the meat on those animals and the spaghetti sauce, and you couldn't tell one from the other. That's just a grass eating the animal. Like a squirrel. A squirrel that's a tree rat with a fancy tail. Oh, that is. A, a, a rabbit ain't got no tail. Weird looking thing with the ears. And a beaver, the tail's flat. But as far as the grass and leave, they're just chewing eat like that. Orange teeth. These are alligator tags, that's real gator tags. The tags that's all got letters and numbers. You're only gonna get so many tags for your spot. And then when you skin them, I did skin these myself. This is my stuff from my house. That's alligator skin up the back. That's the belly skin. I got some tail strips right here. The bones and all sell. You can sell alligator bones and skeletons and all. The bones, teeth, everything. So there's a market for all that. Now there's a license for all of that too. So you got license and permits and how many you get from the area only in September for the gator. And the Nutrimat that just started from November uh, through February. We'll be shooting them right probably through uh, into March. Now if those raccoons, if those gators go on land and those raccoons catch them, them raccoons will eat that baby gator right there. They'll tear him in half. They'll eat him like a hot dog right there. Yeah, yeah that's another gator. Just to the left of where the stick is. Can you see the little gator? Oh, I see it. It's so small. 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 It's so the little tiny one straight out. Oh, oh, now I can. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? Do you see him? The little tiny head right there to the left of the white part of the stick? Maybe. So look at where the stick goes really white. Yeah. Directly to the left, just about less than a meter away. Oh, uh, yeah, now I see it. Oh, 
We had tried a few of these boat rides with somebody, family, or friend. There was about a three or four months. They were in charge of once, and that's just to go ride in the body and go look. In those years, I, I was checking crawfish trap, crab trap. We were doing some different things, checking fishing lines. I didn't see the people no success, and now you're calling it to them. And look at now, all kind of boat in Barcelona. I remember that I tried bread, biscuit, mafe, chintos, I tried Oreo cookies, I tried <coughs> the <coughs> away for popcorn, I tried a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. But 87, no two are leaving the dock without the marshmallow. And I was just trying without many marshmallow biscuits. I did toast to the bread for about two years, but you'd always have to have two toasts in the shop. But it was always toast to bread, toast to bread. Toast to bread throws like a little frisbee when you bring it out. But as soon as it hits the water, it lays flat and mush. And the raccoons and the gators eat all of that too. So they got all and then the marshal ended up being the best mm -hmm. It's cheap, easy to buy, a dollar bag, got a bunch of bag, and it was pretty good. Now, I'd have never guessed. It's just something we tried by luck. And look at the tours that you got our kind of buses and boats all over. And we all got wiped out all over. Moves. Katrina song, us out. Well, let's go back to the first one that wiped us out, Hurricane mm -hmm. Andrew. Hurricane Angel wiped us out the first time in 92, 93. We was out of business there for almost two years. Sunken boats all over made a mess of us. And then Katrina, you know, my dad did another two, three year mess up. So like I tell you with the new tree rack, there's a deboning of the meat. You got a debone of meat. Now if I just cut the raccoon legs up and throw that in the pot, you'll stick up the house. The neutral rat too. You got to debone that with a feeling knife. Don't put no bloody tissue, no fatty white ligament up in that. Oh, I got to be pink, red meat. Anything different than that, you're going to stick yourself out. You're never going to get that in your mouth. <laughs> There's a lot of animals. The same thing with deer. Big, I've seen some people skin a deer wrong and cut that and that's all of that off with your deer. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. So a lot of ways of preparation. Don't be scared. That's our trip on your tour right here. How about Francais? Would you keep on Francais in bateau? Comment ça va chapiter? Et là-bas? I'm just checking. If you got the French, we'll do that too, yeah. I spoke French first. I went to school for English. I struggle with it still. They sent me to speech therapy a couple of times. They wasted their money. Oh, yeah, that was great. I said, we're going to send that guy to Claire so he could speak right. Okay, well, waste your money with that. <laughs> Et là-bas. Some of that. The LSU game. So alligator meat comes from Acadia Paul. Otherwise, we catch them in September for the 30 day season. You gotta have those tags to be able to go in September. And you're only gonna get so many tags for the spot. Maybe that's a shot of the day. There was a bigger one. The biggest one I saw earlier today was down there by the cabin. We're gonna go down there, we're gonna go and go look at that too. Pretty just pointy, 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 pointy. And then more spike on the back, the tail. Like that. Okay. There's the country, say the Philippines, there's India again. Okay now. What about the people on my tour the other day? When I pulled up right here, the lady looks at the sign right there. She said, man, we seen that in the news when Hurricane Harvey was coming out of us in Texas. We saw this on the news. The fence and the old sign, who did that? I said, we did that. I said, you saw the news. So yeah, all day long. When they talk about 100 year storm, 100 year flood, 100 year hurricane flood, all that we hear the term 100 year, you go back to these old storms that wipe these cities and states and countries out. Hundreds of, for hundreds of years, hurricanes been going on. We're going to get a... When the old kids were going to pull us up, your father got that thing that's all on the thing right in front of you. Is that the shell? Okay, no, that ain't And then we got the body, okay. Maybe it's the old bayous right used to be old tributaries of the Mississippi River. You got bayous to the right, you got the body to the left. Now that straightaway up front is not a bayou, that's a canal. That man made a dug out. A canal, that's the difference. Canals man made a dug out. A bayou's are naturally made. Whether he washed out hurricanes long, however, old tributary in the Mississippi, where the bayous is all zigzag around. You see how straight that goes to the left up ahead there? That goes straight to the railroad track. So that's man made a dug out there. There was an old logger canal, old logger trail, straight through to the woods of the railroad track as a shortcut. And the old bayou goes both ways to the, to the uh, Old River Road to the right and the old railroad track to the left. 
And we're gonna go check by the cabins and everybody go take a look at them. We'll go back in here. Uh, we're gonna go back the other way too and go see. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe go down this other stretch or uh, go check some of that out. Let's see where that gator went in front. There was a gator this morning, right in front of the dock. You see? I got to try to find where he went to. And not up there, no. Well, you see one, you? Yeah. Yeah, OK, I see you. Uh, that don't look like the one I'm looking for, but I take it. There was one earlier, and it said, the people the earlier just thought it was fake. He was sitting right in front with a big head sticking up right here. And I know he's watching us. He come out of this slush with this. Somebody, let's see the one y'all saw right up here. Let's take a look. What about dog camping cabin? See, no matter what state or country you come from, go back 100 years ago, where's most people living in? Especially these buyers and swamps. Old log cabins, old shelters, shack, shotgun houses, no electrical, much or nothing. You're cooking in a pot belly stool. And see, they have that tub. Now that came with that bin there. That's a quality item. In the old days, you'd wash you in the tub with your clothes and everything in the same old soapy water. That's an old school bed. With no wash or dry, that you wash and dry right there. You need to throw your clothes up on the clothesline. That's an old school bed with the same old soapy water. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, I got Ben. Seen it. About a five foot gate, about like the one we saw swimming up there earlier. There's about a five foot one there. Look at he kind of skinny. Again, this time of year, the wolf is skinny. They ain't been he hasn't eaten since Halloween. Some of your bigger gators this size on up haven't eaten anything since Halloween. That was the last week I fed them chickens off the side of the boat. Half the chickens and chicken neck and fish head and all. That was the last time we were seeing. Now look, at this gator got mud all over him. See where he's there? He been in a slop somewhere all over. Shoot, that's a good shot too. Like I feel close there. Don't get no better than that. You can see he's full of mud. Now if it, you see it start raining and get colder, where he goes? Right back where he was. I need these trees and the slushes somewhere. And nothing back from that way too, no. Somebody, somebody lived in the cabin? Somebody lived in that cabin until 1975. They abandoned it and put all it up for sale. That was the Schlesser family. Now my grandpas all lived with families of five and eight. Some was a little bigger than that, a little bit better set up. But all of our grandpas go back a hundred years. That all grew up in old cabins like that. Mine's not even that old. See, 75, 65, 75. Now, now given in that day and age, you have a couple of light bulbs, uh, electricity, a few things. So you have a few things going on. But when you first would have built this, Say like the families in 1891, 1910, 1922, 1931. This is what you would have built an old cabin like that. Now you'd have got started. You got a family of five, six, eight, whatever. And you'd have chopped wood to all the big saws and then splitting wood and chopping. You'd have got the pot belly stove. That would have been a quality item. The old lady would have been begging the pot belly stove. And the bathtub, that's top of the line. That would have taken a year saving, 100 muskrat skin, 40 beaver skin, 4 or 5 gator skin, trade the mule for that and all, and then we got to tell them, boy, now we're probably getting up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is also weird. That's real, boy, that's the real deal. They didn't say that. The last one here? This, is, this has been abandoned, just like the graveyard, just like the house where I bought the swamp where I live at. That's all been abandoned. And just for, it was for sale. You could have, if you'd have known about this one, When you put the net out in the shallow water, remember how, I showed, how we saw that white bird earlier? And I told you, cool, good crawfish spot. Cool, the spot right here, all inside the body. Either way, they crawl on top of the net to get to the bait. As long as they got bait, they won't even try to get out. They're thinking it's free food. When they're going in there, food fight, food, get with it. Yo, they got some food up in here. So they pile in, they pile in. After 30 minutes, say you got 50 of them. But out of 50 of them, only 20 of them big enough to eat. Some of them, there's so many things like that. If they can fit through these holes, they're not eat on them anyway. I got some nets I rigged up. Some nets got sides on it. You get different kind of traps, got holes for them to go in, to go in. All the same principle. As long as they got bait, they won't even try to get out. All right? And you want to, and these are medium. These are all, maybe with the exception of this one. There's a number three right there. 
We say small, medium, and large. So that's a number three, that's a small. You see the meat of the tail? Wow. You got a bunch of them in there, you boil them up with the rest of them. So that's a small one. And these other ones is mediums. I don't think I got a number one in here. This one here, hey, hey. that one got a nice claw to it, but it's a medium and a number two crawfish. That's a number two tail. And this one's a male. See the tools right there? The white things right there in the middle of his tail, Lee? That's the male. That's his four packers. That's the equipment. Oh, now what we should say? Viewer discretion advised. Oh, wait. Okay, that's a boy. Now watch, I'll, let me see if I find him a girlfriend. <laughs> that's a girl, but she's kind of nasty looking. <laughs> well, I don't know, bro. Look, that's a girl right here. That's a female. See, oh, she ain't got nothing funny. right there. Yeah. See, that's vacant right there. Ah, she's <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right, this boy. Y'all eat them tonight. When you eat something, you pull the tail. Oh, look at that one's got something extra right there. Well, that's the male. And then the female ain't got nothing extra. I can do the whole two in that. But either way, that's the, uh, that's the kind that you catch them in. Small, medium, and large. The next couple of days, they're going to start biting good. I caught this just yesterday, the day before. They're just getting started. Back with the store, they catch nothing. With the snow, the water got so cold, icy and all, uh, nothing. And now, the next couple of days are gonna stay like this. We're gonna get 50, 60 degrees, another three or four days. They're gonna bite pretty good. So look for some of the restaurant tonight. And that's just an easy, and that's a simple two, three dollar net. Some nets have got side, a bigger setup, a taller wire. There's a bunch of ways to rig that up. But either way, the bait what makes them go in. Yo, Yabby's too down there. Catch them the same way, see? That's the big, that's the big cousin. See these two here? Okay. I bring a bunch of stuff on the ride. These here, I've had these on here from before the eclipse. You remember this year, United States has the eclipse, goes over the United States, eclipse, or oh, oh, what? The week before and after, they was all mating and laying eggs and having baby crawfish by the millions. I was showing them until, like I showed y'all there, all the males and females was connected. I remember I was showing, oh, what are they doing? What's that? I said, they're taking care of business. Okay? <laughs> and that's the male. That just happens to be the way I got them. I could have said to a bunch, this happened to be the two that were stuck together that I were keeping the show. And I'll show them together. Now you see his equipment and sheet on. You see right here? And they got together for two, three days. Wee, wee, look at the blood in there now. Yeah, baby, right here. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> okay? So they took care of business four or five days in a row. But be nice, huh? Okay. And then about two weeks after that, the babies come up from Anita Tail. About 75, 80 babies come up from Anita Tail. Yes. Biggest mosquito. They're putting it on it, huh? Wait, yeah. Well, she took care of business. Yeah, he will keep her going at it. And the babies come out, biggest mosquitoes, all glued together with the juice up Anita Tail. Okay. And here we are now, almost three months later. I saved some to show. I saved about a dozen. I gave some to Alan. All of us take turns in the boat with stuff. This is one of her babies here from the eclipse thing what hatched out from as big as a mosquito three months ago. Now, you know that we catch them on side of the road a little. Yeah, by the minute. So from three months ago from the eclipse, that's one of the babies right here. So next year by this, uh, next year by this time, they'll be almost two years old. All that millions of babies they had, it's going to be big as that. That's going to not maybe not so much this year, but next year we're going to knock them out. Look forward to a big bumper crop next year because that was going to set the stage where the eclipse started it. Well, all that we made ladies by the millions, the shrimp were doing the same thing, the yabbies, the lobster, all over the world that were doing the same thing, but kicks it off. That was sometimes you got good CO, we got good dish, you go there, you go too good, got good dish, cool next year. So <clears throat> every few years, that's how seafood plays out sometimes. They got a good bumper crop, thousands and millions come out, and two, three years later, that's big enough to eat, we put it on them again. So that's not even three months old. And that was born from an Etat female by the eclipse. This has done shed four times. Each full moon that shed. Last time it shed, it really doubled in size. When that come out the size of a mosquito, I'm telling you, all glued together. And here you are now three months, and that's the babies right there. Okay. That way now you get it. And y'all yabbies in over there in the ocean, the main lobster, Florida lobster, the saltwater crabs, the saltwater shrimp, freshwater shrimp in the Mississippi River. All that we're doing the same thing. And if science and the guys ain't got no answer either. Some of this stuff, it sets it off as far as reason why then I was gonna have a good answer with that. No. Now let's see what else we got. Watch it right here. Oh, I could have brought the snakes and all today then. They tried a little bit. Oh, hey, where Pops? Oh no, Pops, I'm coming in. Hey, Lava. 
Okay. Now, I put a rubber band on him so he can't bite. All right, because he could bite and draw blood. Make no mistake. You see his teeth right here? He said, take it off. Tom, I'll show him. No, he could be showing no teeth. Okay. Remember I told you earlier about the alligator eggs and some people question me. About, I get that a lot. So I bring this toy to show. That when I showed the guy early this year. That's when he blurted it out. Oh, they lay an egg. It's not where all here. I'll kind of little story with him. I said, bro, look it up. Come on, we will play with you. So they made the eggs. The baby comes out of that. Why bring this to show? And now the bigger the mama, the bigger the egg, the bigger the baby. Remember I said some two years old. This is not two years old. This one's about 20 months. When I got a year and a half ago through the wild of a fishery, no bigger than the toy I showed you. Now here we are now, 18, 19 months later. Uh. And I put the rubber band so he can't bite. Now, this one's a little male. I'll let y'all pass him and take y'all picture. Now, you got to work with him quickly. I want you to hold it with two hands if you want. See, like this right here? Wee, wee, wee. Hey, baby, hold me right, right here. <laughs> Look, we're going to try to hold him up, girl. Let it hook you up. And this salamander, all of that too. He eat all of them like potato chip. You got him, boo? Watching this now. Right. You see, I was keeping him warm. Look, old hot water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, just an old bottle like that. Hang it there, Pee Wee. Yeah, just.